Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome back to Let's Play Miracle Girls. In the last episode, we finally rescued all of our teachers, but now we have to go through this magical forest in order to convince the local wizard, Majo Majo, to bring us back to our home world. So without further ado, let's begin. And this forest is full of nothing but exclusive enemies such as these ghosts. Sometimes they walk around in a narrow pattern like what they're doing here. They all shoot projectiles. And the ones that do fly, the blue ones that do anyway, they usually go horizontal. Also, you may have just noticed those pink blobs coming in from the left side of the screen. Some of them do that. And... They're the only enemies you can't hit with the candy. The candy has no effect on them. Invincibility is the only way you can get rid of them. And I want to see if I can actually get up here. No, I cannot. Up there is the last bonus area of the game, but I'm not even going to deal with it because I would have taken and taken back to the beginning of the stage, and I wouldn't have had the invincibility to help me to get back here to where I am now. Also, we just saw the pink go. Some of them fly horizontally, and they do go up or down once in a while. They move in some sort of sine wave pattern. Also, for these sections here, these platforming sections, always jump on red and duck down and feed the ghost candy. You gotta be fast or else you're gonna have a heck of a time stunning the ghosts and you're gonna have to be dealing with a whole bunch of projectiles to dodge. And we finally made it to the midway point. Oh, come on. There we go. I may have to use the screen clearing attack in case I somehow manage to not die. And that thing is still shooting projectiles. Great. Get away from me. And yeah, if you don't get here if you get here fast enough and you rush through it, the game makes you pay for your rash means of trying to get through the stage by having those pink blobs just drop down on you. Ah, oh, great. This is not good. Die. Kill it. Oh, the... You're kidding me. That doesn't work on it? Not even the super screen clearing attack does not work on the blobs. I just now figured this out, folks. Also, once you see that bunch of grapes, just keep going right. Avoid the ghosts. You'll finally meet up with your twin, and you'll finally go into Majo Majo's tree. <sighs> I thought I was going to die near the end. I would have been taken back to the, the midway point for sure, but I just didn't feel like dealing with that. we finally meet up with Majo Majo himself. Well, of course he's going to know you were coming. He is a wizard and he brought everybody here for some reason. Like I said. I mean, who else would have been able to do that? He's the only wizard we've met. Not that hard to figure out. But why did he bring us here? Well, we're going to have the beat him at minigames to find out. And guess what? It's a boss rush, which means you have to do stage one, two, and three's minigames all over again just to get the ending. And the first one we get is this card game thing. Ah, oh, come on. I don't have that card. And he took too long choosing. And I just could have stood there and picked it. Ah, oh, come on. At least I can keep him from using two of his cards there. 
Come on. I still don't have any of those cards of that guy. But at least I can keep him from choosing two more cards. But he got the angel and he just got all his cards back. And now he's going to do the devil thing on me. And here's the worst part about these power-ups. That can happen. And he can just keep wailing on me for as many points as he can and I can lose. Now here's the thing, if you do lose a game, you can play the game, but if you just notice in the upper left hand corner, I just lost one of my lives. Thankfully we have plenty of lives, so we can play this game again. Sometimes the game, the card game, will be like this. Sometimes you'll have the luck of the draw, other times Wade from US Acres over there will just do that. And I don't have that card. I don't have that card either. Come on. Ah, oh, come on. I want to get this one this time. I don't have that card either. And he's doing this thing again. Great! I'm going to lose again. Like I said... Once you have all your cards flipped like that, it's basically hopeless. You're going to lose. The game is known to do this unless you're pretty much fast enough. He may as well just sit there and wait, not even try to get points on me. But there he is doing just that and just trying to rub his little victory, which he got prematurely right there in my face. And this is why I hate the card game the most. I mean, you're more likely to win it the first time around, but the second time, this may happen. And it's giving me cards I can't choose, and he's, he's taking too long. Maybe I can luck out. Come on, give me another devil so I can just get rid of this guy. There we go. Well, that works. Well, I don't have that card. Come on, give me another devil. Ah. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, come on. I'm getting too bad with this. Ah! No! Oh my gosh. I was so close on that one. <sighs> I was able to get through this one pretty well, and I've already lost three lives now. I do not feel like editing a video. I really don't. Oh, I'm actually getting some good luck here. Of course, he scores on me. Come on. Give me a devil. That works too. Give me more devils. Well, this works. I'm actually able to get some good reaction time going. Give me another devil so that way I can put him out of his misery. Come on. Well, that kind of works too, but come on. There we go. You're not winning on me now. Now I'm going to do what you did to me last time. 17 to 3. Up yours, buddy. Thanks for getting me salty. Ah. <sighs>
Sometimes I like that game, sometimes I do not. This was one of the times when I did not. You and me both. All right, which game is it this time? Oh, the mouse one. I can't tell. Ah, he picked it before I could. The games do get harder here. I may have to choose before he does. I may have to wait on the second time around. Uh, I thought I was picture thought I picked the fourth one there. Ah, uh, it's not the third one. Come on. I can't tell on the second thing. That's the thing. Well, at least I'm able to get some points there, but unless I can score again, I'm going to lose another life. And there it is. There we go. Huh, I'm to look out there. You lost again! <laughs> That's the last time I'm doing that. And after two mini games, we're gonna have to do one more. It's gotta be the water gun game, isn't it? I know it's gotta be the water gun game. Oh, it's the water gun game, and this time it's against the guy from stage four. And I don't know why I press B. And I don't know why I'm messing this up. I am not very smart here. I am not showing much in the way of the smarts department. I need to get this guy before he can see me. And I need to make sure that he hits the blue balls. And he's doubling back. As long as I do that. Before he can see me. And avoid the blue balls. Good. Now he has only one point left, and I'm pretty sure he's got... Yep, he just ran right into that, and I ran into that too, but... All I need to do now is just stay away from the blue balls and also try to stay away from him unless he manages to run into me like that. And because he hit me, the blue ball could not. He lost his point. I didn't lose any of mine. There we go. Finally! We are finally done with the three mini games and the boss rush. And we find out the reason he brought us here to Earth is nobody here is good at games and he was lonely, so he dragged us and four of our teachers in here. Then again, this is a very simple game based on an anime slash manga which isn't even close to violence so there's really not much to expect here also I noticed that Tomomi has green eyes and Makage has blue I just now paid attention to that Majo Majo tells us that we jump into the pond on Flower Road. We can deter to our world. And he sends all our teachers there. All we have to do now is just use our telekinetic powers to just go over there ourselves. And then we can jump in the lake and everything will be over. And with that, we finally go to the final cutscene of the game. So, yeah, we're pretty much done with Miracle Girls for Super Famicom. 
How does this game rank with me? Well, it kind of does what it does. It, it does what it should. It's just a simple, mindless diversion. You're probably going to get through it in less than an hour. At least the graphics stay true to the anime. Music fits the mood. Play controls have that whole NES style feel because you know they were trying to get as many people as possible and there were still people who were still playing the NES in 1993 when the game came out, so, so of course they had to do A for jump and B for attack. And they, of course they had to explain the controls for the mini games within the game every time you met a boss. So this isn't really meant to be a hard game, although it does get nasty halfway through when you meet the mouse mini boss and you have to do the the uh, who's out of seat game. Actually, it can get pretty difficult with the card game, as I already mentioned like minutes ago, because again, luck may be with you. You may get good with the reaction time and just know where the cards are and just get to them before the duck mini boss can and sometimes a duck mini boss will get the jump on you really quickly it just depends on where the cards are which cards are dealt and how the game goes so the card mini game very reliant on RNG and it can be brutal for something for a game that's basically meant for a wide audience, some of whom have never played video games before in their lives. Remember, this is Japan. If there's an anime or a manga, there's probably going to be a video game based on it. Maybe. Especially if it was popular. And that's it. That's it for Miracle Girls for the Super Famicom. This episode got a little longer than I expected, but I just really wanted to get through it especially as bad as the mini game with the cards got I hate talking about that stupid card game but there you go and Yoshiro I might as well go ahead and mention that map design by Yasi Turbo yeah there's some pretty interesting games games names in there that are mentioned I know when Freezing Inferno did his Let's Play of this, he mentioned some of the names. I also read a article in the game from VG Junt, which finally made me decide, hey, since Freezing Inferno did it, VG Junt did an article, I might as well go ahead and do it myself. I'll go ahead and link to the description, link into the description, a link to the VG Junk article so you guys can see it. And at the end, there's the English translation layer credits and that's pretty much it you get a pretty lackluster ending not much to it but what do you expect and yeah that's basically it night falls on the school everyone's back home there you go so that's it for Miracle Girls for Super Famicom hopefully I will be back with another game until then this is Prince Watercrest take care stay safe see you guys later Thanks for watching.